been not a bad holiday weekend. All things, yeah, all things considered, this is pretty great. Today, especially the pick of the weekend, Zuri. Lots of sunshine expected. Tomorrow looks good, too. Just a few more clouds to contend with. Wanted to show you the sunshine tracker. Sunrise today was at 630, but it sets at 723 in the evening. Two weeks from now, the sunrise gets pushed to about 6 a.m. And by May 1st, check this out, the sunset gets close to 8 p.m. Man, that is a sign of warmer days to come. Here's a live look at the Georgia Mountain Community Wind Farm. Looking from our camera in Plattsburgh here, the turbines are spinning this morning. There's a light northwest wind out there. And check this out. Seconds ago, we just saw the sun clear the mountains up in the Northeast Kingdom. This is looking over the NVU Linden campus in Lindenville. Now, before we jump into the forecast, I do want to let you know about a wildfire risk today. This happening because we have dry fuels combined with low relative humidity. So out Door burning is discouraged, but if you are going to be doing it, just keep an eye on things. The highest risk for this is in New Hampshire, but just know Vermont and New uh, Northern New York also have this risk in place too. Here are the temperatures as we stand now at 645. Teens for a lot of us. How about 21 in Burlington, 25 in Plattsburgh, just two degrees in Saranac Lake. This happening, of course, because the skies cleared out last night. We have high pressure moving in today. That's why the forecast is so quiet and not just here, but everywhere across the nation. You know, this is pretty rare because April is a transition month. We typically have a couple of these systems marching across, but it looks like Easter weekend will be quiet from coast to coast, which is always a good thing to see. Here are the next 12 hours for today. Sunshine, highs in the 40s for most of us. I think we clear the 40s by about noon, and we almost get to the 50s in the Champlain Valley. I do think this happens in a couple spots, mainly in the Connecticut River Valley. And for tomorrow, I think everybody reaches the 50s with some clouds early giving way to sun in the afternoon. If you're planning on a socially distant outdoor gathering or maybe just an Easter egg hunt, I think you'll be totally fine to do all of that. The weather will be cooperating this weekend. Here's the wall to wall sunshine later this afternoon. Know that there are some clouds moving into northern New York around evening, but I think this produces a very vibrant sunset because these clouds are coming in at a higher level in the atmosphere. So if you'll be outside, look to the west as the sun sets. We may need, uh, see a nice show later today. Here are the clouds for tomorrow, giving way to peaks of sun in the afternoon. There is a low risk for an isolated shower in northern New York, but I think most of us will remain dry. More sun and clouds on the way for Monday. We'll need to keep an eye on this system coming in from Maine. I think it may provide some snow showers to the Northeast Kingdom, but just know the risk for that is on the lower end. Looking at the extended forecast, we continue to trend upwards in the temperature department back in the upper 50s to low 60s by the middle of the week. We're mostly dry through that time. I think the next chance for some measurable rain doesn't get here until next Friday.